It is finally February, and this week is what many are speculating to be one of the biggest weeks for Nintendo in recent memory. Uh, There's some speculation and some rumors out there that we will potentially see a Nintendo Direct this week, which could bring things such as a Nintendo Switch 2 reveal, of all things. Uh, We'll talk a little bit more about that, as well as what does this mean for the Zelda franchise, as there's been some stuff that has updated with that. And if we do get Nintendo Direct with a couple of these things, they could be rather large. So what's up, Waluigi? Trent from Trentendo here. Today, we're going to talk a little bit more about what happened over the weekend. There's some exciting stuff going on, like I said, a potential for a Nintendo Direct here in a couple of days, as well as, you know, like I said, we could potentially see Nintendo Switch 2, it sounds like. Um, but everything with a grain of salt, as I, as we always kind of say, because nothing is official until Nintendo makes it so. So before we hop into all of this stuff, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video so you guys can kept up to date with everything going on here at Trentendo. Let's see if we can't get 20 likes on this. It really does help. I appreciate it. Without further ado, let's hop right in. Now, first things first, we're going to talk more about this Zelda update as there is some interesting stuff happening that may be pointing to us getting the Twilight Princess on Nintendo Switch. Now, whether or not this does give us the Wind Waker double pack, as we've kind of speculated and the things have you know, developed, it seems like that was the way Nintendo might be going. But now we have some stuff pointing towards the Twilight Princess at least. Now, over at GameStop and, of course, other retailers, Nintendo has restocked the Wolf Amiibo Link, uh, the Wolf Link Amiibo, uh, from the Twilight Princess HD port from the Wii U. Now, Nintendo restocks Amiibo stuff all the time, but it's interesting to see that this particular Amiibo has been restocked. Now, they've restocked a bunch of other Zelda stuff, it looks like, as well in particular, but the fact that this Amiibo is kind of getting brought back from the dead, if you will, very interesting timing. It releases uh, sometime in the end of March, it looks like, based off of GameStop's uh, listing for it. You can go ahead and pre-order it there as well if you hadn't get it. I am actually going to go pick this up, I think, myself, as I did not get uh, that Amiibo the time around on the Wii U. But, like I said, why is this being released now? Why is this being updated now? Um, it would make sense if this really is coming back with Twilight Princess on the Switch. You know, the Amiibo unlocked some specific stuff on the Wii U. There was a a couple of dungeons that were Amiibo specific that you could not get unless you had the Amiibo. So by bringing that back, are they going to be able to access those particular dungeons again on the Switch version should it actually hit the Nintendo Switch? So it's something to keep our eye out on. Like I said, this does not mean that this is coming to Nintendo Switch. It's just something interesting to note and, you know, something to pay attention to because it seems that there usually is some sort of a a deeper meaning to some of these things typically. Now, like I said, though, there are some other stuff as well that seems to be a little bit bigger. We got the Zelda thing out of the way, which is exciting. Uh, I just actually beat Twilight Princess not that long ago. I kind of got sick of Nintendo not putting on the Switch, so I just played it on the GameCube. Uh, But what about the Nintendo Switch 2? It seems that, you know, there is some rumors going around that the Nintendo Switch 2 could be revealed as early as this week, and pre-orders could be going live by around Friday. Now, like I said, this is all rumors, this is all hearsay for the time being. Uh, To give you some background on where this is coming from, this is coming from Nate from Nintendo Prime. Now, Nate is Nintendo Prime, I know, I'm sure many of you have already know about him, or you've seen his videos, he seems to hype irresponsibly, as he says himself. You know, Nate's a, an awesome guy. I, re- I really like his content personally. Uh, I was on his podcast a couple of weeks ago and had a really good time doing that. Um, but it's interesting to see him using his own sources this time and him him really becoming a source on this story. Um, and this coming from his own personal source, he did not give up too much information other than that uh, this is a GameStop specific source, somebody in upper management rather than, you know, going to your local GameStop and talking to, you know, the store manager or some of the employees there. This is somebody at GameStop corporate, potentially, um, or at least this is where the information is, seems to be coming from, and that they are saying that they are receiving word from Nintendo that they should be preparing for a 
release of pre-orders to be taken, or whatever the case is, probably pre- pre-orders rather than not a release, but pre-orders to be taken for Nintendo's next generation system. Now, there was no naming conventions given. There was no specific timeline. Uh, it typically, the, the way that Friday kind of came up was that uh, Nate got this information on Friday of this weekend, for this last weekend. This is going to be coming out on a Monday. This video will be published on Monday. So this past Friday... And his source indicated to him that typically they receive this kind of notification typically a week before uh, things are available. So that would make this current, this coming Friday, when we could potentially see pre-orders taken for Nintendo Switch 2. Now, like I said, this kind of brings up a whole bunch of other questions. Is you know when is Nintendo going to reveal this? Like, how quickly are they really going to be able to turn this thing out? Um, would this come out in the Nintendo Direct? Would this be something separate? Um, but the fact that, you know, we, like I said, we have to take everything with a grain of salt, but the fact that Nate is kind of putting his, his name on the line here, uh, makes me intrigued. I, would, I don't say it makes me believe this anymore. You know, I don't, I don't know who his source is. I said, Nate, like, I really like Nate and this one problem, like I said, um, I feel like he does a really good job at distinguishing what is rumor versus what is, you know, fact and in fiction, if you will. And the fact that he's kind of putting his name out there is, is interesting, Uh, Because you don't see it very often when, you know, some of these YouTubers out here are becoming the sources themselves that they cover. Um, So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens. He he even mentions in his own video, I'll put a link to his video down below if you want to go check it out. But he does mention that uh, this does not necessarily mean it's coming on Friday, that his source didn't really even indicate that it would be coming this Friday, but that it could be as early as this Friday. So there is some caveats there. Uh, but he and he goes on to mention that he believes that this will be revealed by March, uh, which is when we all kind of, I think, mostly agree that this will be unveiled by, you know, there are some people still on the team 2025. I personally don't think that Nintendo will wait that long uh, based off of what we're seeing in the market right now with what Nintendo has done. So we'll have to wait and see. But it does seem more likely that this Nintendo Direct will hit you know, this week we have a bunch of other people speculating, like Special Nick and some other people out there throwing out that March 7th or February 7th, rather, will be the Nintendo Direct, which is just a couple of days from now. But we won't have to wait that much longer. We'll probably only if if nothing is announced by Tuesday, you know that there is no Direct for Wednesday. And if nothing is announced on Wednesday, there's no Direct for Thursday. So we can kind of, you know, just kind of see and wait what happens. But I wouldn't be I would be surprised if Nintendo doesn't do anything this month. It might not necessarily be this week. Um, but I think by the end of the month, we'll definitely have something from Nintendo, uh, whether that be a direct or a direct mini or a partner showcase, there's going to be something. And, you know, if it really is a direct, I just don't know if I see the Nintendo switch Two being revealed at a direct now, like if Nintendo has never done something like that. They've never revealed a console in a direct, but you know, with, as, with new leadership, maybe they'll do something different. You know, Nintendo's going to Nintendo at the end of the day. And one thing they don't always do is hold to pattern. Now they do typically have a lot of patterns that we can follow and we can, we can expect, you know, like with the February direct, with the June direct, with the September direct, things like that. But with a new system, who really knows? And especially coming off the hills of something like the Nintendo switch, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what they do. So I'd love to hear your guys thoughts down below though. What do you think? Do you think we'll get a reveal of the Nintendo switch at this direct? Do you think we'll get uh, Twilight Princess revealed. I think the, the of these two, obviously, the most likely would be Twilight Princess, in my opinion. It's something we've heard about, and it makes a lot of sense, specifically with what Nintendo is doing right now with all these ports and remasters and remakes. Why not throw in a Zelda one in there as well? But we'll, we'll have to wait and see, you know, it, what Nintendo does at this Direct, assuming we get one. Uh, but it could be a very, very big week, not only for Zelda, but for nintendo switch as well so hope you guys enjoyed this update like i said let me know down in the comments what you guys think i'm really interested to hear your thoughts because personally i don't know how nintendo would do this either at the direct you know do they have a big segment of it devoted to it do they say at the end of the direct you know hey here's one more thing and kind of show it off or do they even say uh, maybe they even they just have the end of the direct for one more thing they say hey tune in next week or on Thursday or whatever the case may be for more information regarding the next Nintendo Switch system or the ne- or the Nintendo Switch 2 or Super Nintendo Switch, whatever the case may be. I kind of lean more towards that in my own opinion that maybe they say, hey, this is coming. 
we'll show more info at this time, at this date. But like I said, we'll have to wait and see for official word from Nintendo. So hope you guys enjoyed this update. Like I said, let me know in the comments as well. Looking forward to that conversation going with you. As, and until next time, catch you later.